hello friends so in this video we will learn approximation algorithm so we have explained very easily this topic and no content is left for you to understand this topic so don't worry and we have started this topic with very basic fundamentals so you don't worry about this topic so what are the prerequisites so here we have uh, uh, explained the prerequisites uh, what is np problem so what is np hard versus uh, np complete so we have uh, explained the difference so you don't uh, worry about that and uh, in after we have explained what is approximate what are the approximation algorithms and what is the difference between approximation versus heuristic versus probabilistic algorithms and after all we have explained two examples so that you you can understand this topic very easily so let's start with our topic so uh, these are some of the prerequisites so what are p and np problems uh, basically p are such type of problems which can be solved in the polynomial time and np problems are uh, those problems uh, which are uh, also known as non deterministic polynomial time uh, which means that uh, these polynomials ha are ha have uh, polynomial time complexity but uh, they are non deterministic in nature it basically means that uh, uh, they cannot be uh, they have a solution but uh, it is not j perfectly determined right now so uh, we are basically concerned with uh, the reduction uh, uh, polynomial time reduction uh, we are basically focused on uh, converting any problem into an another type of np complete problem so we reduce an np complete problem into an another problem to show that uh, that np problem is uh, uh, either an np complete or np hard so these are the three main conditions that is uh, a lesser than pb is an np complete problem and b is the problem that we want to show that is to be np complete or np hard uh, a main goal will be to recognize np hard problems so that we don't spend all of our time trying to find an efficient solution we're just concerned uh, uh, to recognize that if a problem is np hard or np complete next is how to solve this uh, np problems there are generally three options uh, which can be considered uh, one can use an exponential time algorithm to solve the problem for smaller size of input can also use uh, uh, topics uh, such as uh, uh, branch and bound or dynamic programming uh, now in the second point uh, if we consider only special cases uh, such as uh, uh, if uh, uh, some if a graph can be converted into a direct acyclic graph uh, or suppose uh, if in the hamiltonian cycle only certain vertices uh, vertices need to be covered so um, uh, most of the times uh, uh, this reduces the time complexity and the last one is uh, to uh, increase our performance uh, uh, using an approximation algorithm so what are the approximation algorithm these algorithms are used to find the approximate results to the optimized algorithms as the name suggests it does not guarantee the best solution uh, it is a kind of a way of dealing with the np completeness for an optimization problem uh, basically it is an optimal up to small constant factor which is at most polynomial time they are uh, maximum used when uh, the exact polynomial time algorithm is not known but faster results are required like uh, we need to we need must have fast uh, results over uh, accuracy of the algorithm uh, some of the famous uh, problems uh, np complete problems are vertex cover problem uh, the traveling salesman problem set covering problem etc in this video i'll try to cover the vertex cover problem and traveling salesman problem uh, performance ratios now suppose uh, we work on an optimization problem where every solution carries a cost now uh, an appro approximate algorithm returns a legal solution but the cost of that legal solution may not be optimal uh, for example uh, suppose you consider the minimum size vertex cover problem now the cost returned by our algorithm may not be minimized suppose uh, c is the cost that is returned by the algorithm and c star is the optimal cost so obviously if we talk about uh, our minimization problem uh, c uh, c star will always be lesser than or equal to c uh, if we talk about uh, maximization problem uh, c star will be always greater than or equal to c so if we combine these two equations uh, we'll get uh, the equation which is written here that uh, the max of c star by c comma c upon c star will be always lesser than or equal to p now what is this b this p is the approximation ratio rho of n which measures how bad the approximate solution is distinguished with the optimal solution a small approximation ratio means that the solution is much worse than an optimal solution so 
uh, let's think of uh, rho fn as a performance guarantee now we guarantee that the result produced by our approximation algorithm is not going to be worse than a factor of rho n compared to the optimal solution our algorithm is a rho n approximation algorithm for example consider uh, that uh, consider a n approximation algorithm so suppose uh, if n equal to 100 and our optimal solution has n equal to 7 so our this tells us that uh, our solution will not be more Le more than 100 so now there's a big difference between n equal to 7 and uh, n equal to 100 so an approximation algorithm be is just uh, worse kind of but uh, uh, suppose uh, uh, a two approximation algorithm is considered now this is quite important as it tells us that no more than twice the optimal solution or no less than half the optimal solution for maximization problems now one must think that what is one approximation algorithm this basically tells us that uh, our algorithm is the optimal algorithm like uh, it uh, gives uh, uh, optimal answer for each and every input case now what are the differences between approximations heuristics and probabilistics uh, as such, there is no big difference between all these algorithms and they all uh, trade off uh, accuracy for performance but uh, uh, we can say that the heuristic algorithms are based on gut feeling that is intuition now uh, as the line i cannot prove this works but somehow it does most of the time uh, suits well for uh, heuristics algorithm now in the probabilistic algorithm there is a random element in the algorithm which basically tells us that uh, all the each and every time the result may get will be random while uh, the approximate uh, solution always gives a deterministic answer uh, also one more point to cover that in heuristics uh, there is no performance guarantee while in approximate algorithm there is a definite uh, approximate uh, the performance guarantee uh, now the approximation schemes uh, this is a bit of an advanced topic it basically tells us uh, that uh, if if you take a constant uh, uh, this uh, which is greater than zero for any fixed constant the scheme is one plus e approximation scheme that runs in the polynomial time in the size of n now if we uh, talk about the running time suppose uh, o of n square by e uh, this tells us that as we get more and more precise uh, the running time gets worse so it is just of a trade off between the running time and the uh, accuracy of the algorithm so it is a customization in our approximation algorithm now the famous vertex cover problem uh, a vertex cover of an undirected graph g equal to v is a subset of v dash of set v such that if u comma v is an edge of g then either u belongs to v dash or v belongs to v dash or both so this suggests that uh, a vertex cover of graph g is set of such vertices that each edge in g is incident to at least one of these vertices uh, solution to this problem is finding a vertex cover of minimum size in a given graph undirected graph so such an vertex is an optimal cover but this takes exponential time so our basic aim is to find su uh, such an vertex cover that is near or nearer to our optimal answer and also works efficiently that is in polynomial time so let us take an example uh, now consider the following graph this now the hbc is selected uh, so this is a graph and as hbc is selected all the edges that are incident to this vertices b and c are removed similarly uh, as, as shown here remove all the wedges from e dash edge incident on either b or c similarly e f is selected and all the edges incident on either e or f are removed so in this way uh, each uh, different types of uh, edges are selected and all the other edges uh, which are incident to this vertice selected vertices uh, are removed so f of i equal to c that is uh, the solution uh, provided by our approximate algorithm is b c d e f g which is a vertex cover uh, that is uh, provided by our approximate algorithm well the optimal answer to this question is bde now let's check how bde is if we talk about vertex b uh, the edges incident to b are ba and bc so this gets removed now if we talk about d the uh, edge, uh, edges incident to d are this 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 and this and e are this and this so all the edges are covered with just three vertices bde and our another uh, solution provided by approximate algorithm is b c d e f g so this is kind of two times worse than our optimal answer so this is uh, the problem with the approximate uh, algorithm although they run in uh, polynomial time uh, our answer uh, is not optimal so the al algorithm is shown as follows uh, the c is equal to empty set e dash equal to e and until the e dash is empty 
will remove each and every edge uh, uh, will uh, try to remove all the edges which are incident to the selected edge so the worst case time complexity of this algorithm is o v dash plus e that is the polynomial time now this if we consider the analysis of this algorithm this is a naive algorithm but it comes with a performance guarantee that uh, it is a two approximation algorithm uh, if we talk about the running time of this algorithm uh, as in each iteration we pick one edge and then at vertices to set c uh, the polynomial uh, time is o of v now also we need to remove the edges which can be done in oe so the complexity either it is o e square plus v or o e log e plus v or e plus e we don't we don't there is no much much, much of a concern as uh, it runs in polynomial time now hence we can say that the complexity is polynomial so also if we talk about the correctness of the algorithm um, as we remove every edge from the concession only if it is already covered by the vertices so at the termination of the algorithm e dash is com complete e completely empty uh, which means that each and every edge has been considered so our algorithm is definitely correct now uh, the proof of our uh, that our algorithm is two approximation algorithm uh, let a be the set of edges we pick so if we want to cover the edges in this set how many vertices do we need as each vertex occurs only once so vertex cover for the edges in a must have at least a vertices so a is the lower bound for the size of minimum vertex cover as shown here now if we consider about c on termination of algorithm each edge in a will have two vertices so c will have exactly two a vertices on putting these two equations together uh, we find out that uh, the cost of our algorithm will be lesser than or equal to twice of the cost of optimal algorithm so in the worst case we'll have twice as many vertices as then the optimal answer now uh, uh, this is another famous problem that is a traveling salesman problem in this problem a salesman must visit n cities uh, he wants to make a tour in such a way that uh, he returns to the point from where he started that is the uh, hamiltonian cycle now there is a non negative cost uh, ij to travel from city i to city j and our goal is to find the minimum cost uh, this can be represented in a graph of n vertices where each vertex represents a city so traveling salesman problem is basically an np complete problem uh, where there are some approximation algorithms to uh, complete uh, uh, run the uh, the problem in polynomial time but uh, in for optimal answer it takes exponential time uh, so this algorithms work only if the problem instance satisfies triangular inequality triangular inequality basically suggests that uh, the two sides of the triangle sum is always greater than or equal to the third side that is that uh, uh, if the distance from i to j will always be lesser than distance from i to k and uh, k to j uh, the idea uh, behind the algorithm is using a minimum spanning tree but the cost is never more than twice the cost of an optimal tool the algorithm is simple uh, consider any vertex uh, let it be one from and uh, let it be the starting and ending point for, for the salesman now construct an mst from the one as a root using the prims algorithm or you may use a uh, kruskal's algorithm uh, list vertices uh, visit in pre order walk on the construct constructed mst and add one at the end so this is our problem instance and uh, if we try to uh, design the mst uh, one one uh, 1 to 2 the edge is 10 1 to 4 the 20 and 1 to 3 the edge is 15 we do not consider any other edge because it will just form a loop and won't be an mst so and now we perform a pre-order walk that is uh, travel from 1 to 2 then to 4 10 to 3 and uh, return back to 1 so this is a solution that is produced by our algorithm in this case uh, the optimal one and the uh, solution produced by our algorithm both are same as the problem instance satisfies the triangular inequality now how is this algorithm to approximate the cost of best possible traveling salesman is never less than the cost of mst now if you to if you talk about the total cost of full walk it is at most the twice of the cost of mst now that is the every edge of mst is visited at most twice now if you talk about what is a full, uh, full walk a full walk is a list of all the vertices when they are first visited in pre order and it also lists the vertices when they are written after a subtree is visited in pre-order that is uh, each and every vertice shown here will be visited twice the, that is uh, from 1 to 2 then back to 1 then 1 to 4 then back to 1 1 to 3 and back to 1 so 1 will be uh, each and every vertex will be mentioned at most twice so the output of the above algorithm is less than the cost of full walk so when we print the uh, pre-order walk as output two or more edges of the full walk are replaced with a single edge 
for example 2 1 and 1 4 are replaced with 1 h that is 2 4 so if the graph follows the triangular inequality then it is always true so considering three uh, these three uh, points we can definitely say that our algorithm is two approximate algorithm so what we can what can we conclude we can conclude that uh, we understood what is an approximation algorithm and how it prefers performance over accuracy with the polynomial time complexity also it has an performance guarantee that is approximation ratio rho unlike the heuristic algorithm as uh, discussed in the video every problem has a different approximation algorithm and even though the algorithm may seem simple Calculating its approximation ratio may be difficult and that's why this topic is a kind of a uh, research topic and is a kind of little bit difficult to understand. Also we uh, learned about uh, the row approximation algorithm and uh, we understood the same with the help of a traveling salesman problem and minimum vertex cover problem. So I hope you uh, got something from this video. If you really like this video then please subscribe our channel and like this video. It takes only 1 or 2 seconds for you but it is very important for us. So now let's end up this video here and thank you.